morning, everyone. Welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. As you can tell, I am not on the couch, and Bryant is not on the couch, and we do not have our jelly in front of us. Um, we slept late this morning because we didn't sleep well last night, so Bryant had to get up and get going and go to the chicken houses, so we'll do the jelly time later at some point during the day, or maybe we'll just save it to tonight with the cheese, but... Here's what I have planned today. I've got two more savory dishes I need to get made and get ready to bake tomorrow. Sorry if you hear the TV. Judabug is in the den watching TV. But um, so I've got two more dishes to make. I've got to clean. I've got to wrap presents. And um, I want to make some cookie dough so Judah and Levi can come over tomorrow or tonight and cut out cookies. So we will, um, I'll just bring you along throughout the day. I'm not sure how much I'll get videoed, but I'm gonna bring you along through it all. So Brian's at the farm, he should be back shortly. It's gonna be a quiet day. And um, so yeah, anyway, I will see you guys in just a little bit when I get started with my day. Okay, everyone, it is 1.30 in the afternoon and I have accomplished absolutely nothing except getting my gifts wrapped. So I've got to get started. I've got two more savory dishes and I wanted to make cut out cookie dough uh, to do with the boys either tonight or tomorrow, but, um, or even maybe Sunday. But I want to um, get these two things made and, um, so let me grab everything we need. I'm gonna bring you along for the full ride of these two savory dishes. And um, so let me grab everything. I'll meet you back right here. So I believe I have everything you're going to need out here. You're gonna need mayonnaise, not a Miracle Whip. You don't want anything that has sweet in it. Uh, I prefer Dukes, but I'm sure Hellman's or um, anything that does not have like added sugar to it. And mine's a new jar, so let me get it open. Sorry. There we go. All right. So, and I have I have one jar that I'm going to finish off. But we're also going to need, the star of the show is artichokes. Now, I get these at Audi. It's artichokes, and they're the marinated. They have different color tops. They're in the same box, usually. I don't remember what other color the top is. But either way, some of them are just, just plain artichokes. These are marinated, which means they have some seasoning and flavoring in them. That's the ones I prefer, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's totally fine. So I'm going to be doubling my recipe. Um, if I will try to remember to link my video below where I give the recipe in the description. Um, but if not, if I forget or if it just doesn't get done, um, if you will search in your YouTube search bar or even Google the Farming Pastor's Wife Artichoke Dip, it'll pop right up. That's what we're making. I don't even know if I told you what we're making, but we're making artichoke dip. Okay, so I've got one jar in the sink draining. This one has already drained, so I'm going to give this a chop because you don't want you don't want to bite into a full artichoke. I mean, I guess you can. It doesn't matter. I mean, I like them. It doesn't hurt my feelings any. But somebody may not want a full bite of an artichoke, so I just kind of go through with a knife, give it a rough, a rough chop. And um, I get the French baguettes to serve with this. All right. Okay, let me get the other. Now I noticed that this jar has bigger ones and that one had smaller ones so that's don't be surprised or alarmed just like every other vegetable they are different sizes 
don't think, oh no, I've got one wrong jar. It's just, okay. I have one man in my church who just loves this artichoke dip. His name is Jason, him and his wife Heather. All right, I believe that's good. And we're gonna put that over here into our bowl. All right, so we're gonna need, since I'm doubling this recipe, we're gonna need 16 ounces of mozzarella. Let me wipe my hands real quick. They're greasy. I normally empty out the dishwasher so I have it ready to go, but I haven't done that today. It's just been an off kind of day today. All right. And then we're going to add in a cup and a half of Parmesan. I mean, no, two cups. Sorry. <laughs> I was looking at this. It says a cup and a half. But we actually need two cups. So I'm just going to pour all of this in. And then measure out a half a cup. There we go. All right. So let's measure out the rest of this mayonnaise. I'm going to need, I think I'm going to need two cups of mayonnaise. So let me check. Let me, um. Grab my recipe and I'll be right back. So yes, the original recipe calls for one cup and like I said, we are doubling it. So I'm going to, this is a one cup measuring over here. I'm going to fill it up twice with mayonnaise. This is a rich dip. This is one much like you would get in a restaurant um, served with pita chips or we serve it with, like I said, the French bread baguettes and I toast them up. Um, you could add, a, you could get you a box of chopped spinach, frozen spinach and have spinach artichoke dip. Um, we don't ever add the spinach to it just because, in my opinion, it's perfection the way it is. But, by all means, if you like a spinach artichoke dip, add it. Alright, I'm making a mess over here with the mayonnaise. I'm going to have to wash my hands before I go any further. And my counter off. Hey, don't they say if you're not making a mess, you're not cooking, right? All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so before we start stirring it, let's just add the other stuff. Garlic to taste. Well, I think it needs plenty, so we're going in with plenty of garlic. Uh, some Worcestershire sauce to taste. And some hot sauce to taste. All right, now let's start stirring this up. And we're just going to get it mixed up really good. And we're going to get a bacon dish out. We want to be sure those artichokes are mixed in all in that cheese. So I'm going to turn it over and over and over several times and cutting it in half, being sure I'm getting everything mixed up really well. Now, let me just say, um, and I'll say if you go back and watch the other video I've done on it, I say it in there. This having so much cheese is going to have a lot of grease when it comes out of the oven. 
because you're going to bake this off. Now, I'm not going to bake it today. I'm just getting it ready, sticking it in the refrigerator. It's going to have a lot of grease. And I usually pour off when it comes out some of that grease. But that's totally up to you. All right. Artichoke dip is ready. Let me get a pan, pour it in, and we'll stick it in the refrigerator, and then we'll move on. I'll clean up a little bit. We'll move on to our cheese ball. Okay, here it is in the pan. I'm just going to cover it up with saran wrap or tin foil. It's going in the refrigerator. And like I said, I'm going to clean up. We'll be right back to do the cheese ball. So there is light at the end of this never-ending cooking tunnel. <laughs> Um, of course, tomorrow we'll begin the heating and baking everything that's not that I've just put together. I've got I've got one tray of sausage balls I forgot to get in a bag last night. It's in the freezer, but I just didn't get it in a bag, so I got to do that before I'm completely done for the day. But uh, we're gonna make this cheese ball now. I am under the impression that this was uh, Richard Petty's wife Linda's cheese ball. <clears throat> That's what I've always been told. So, we will make it definitely in her honor. Richard Petty is from our area. In fact, you may remember last year I was supposed to go to a fish fry at his place. And we had a storm come through. And power went out at the chicken houses. And we weren't able to go. All right, Kyle Petty, his son, was also the, um, and if y'all know who I'm talking about, the race car drivers, right? Um, he was the Grand Marshal of our Christmas parade this year. And he has also started singing and playing the guitar, and I think he did a show here not long ago. I didn't go, but... And I've been to his... Um, Camp Victory Junction that he has for like kids with disabilities. I've been there several times for meetings and gatherings and so forth. All right, so let me tell you what I've got in here. I've got two sticks of softened cream cheese. And I may have to go in here with my hands, but we'll see. Hopefully not. Okay, and then four cups of shredded cheese. I was going to use the store-bought shredded, che shredded cheese. But I shredded this the other day thinking we were going to have company and the company ended up having the flu and couldn't come. And so I've just, this cheese has just been sitting in there. So I need to use it up. So we're going to use that and I'm going to have to go in with my hands. So what I'm going to do is just get everything in here and then go in. Okay, so I'm going in now with a couple of spoonfuls of garlic. You could use garlic powder if you wanted to. Uh, it, I'm doubling my recipe. So the original recipe, just one, calls for two jalapenos. And so technically I should use four, but I only have three. So we're going in here with three jalapenos. Uh, the recipe does not call for green onion, but I had a few left. So why not? Why not? I mean, really? Some lemon juice and I'm just going to go in with the last that I have some Worcestershire sauce that gives it that good savory rich taste and bacon bits whoa all right I may go in with more bacon bits I want to Kind of see where we're at. And we're just bringing it together. Now, um, oh, I have to go in here with a couple more things. I mean, one more thing. I need to go in with a little less than two thirds of pecans. But I'm also going to scoop some out over here on this platter. And you'll see why in just a minute. I'm going to get some of this fine pecan stuff. Okay. 
So let's just get all this stirred together, mixed together. I won't, maybe I won't have to go in with my hands until I get ready to form it. All right, that just came together nicely. My cream cheese was room temperature, which definitely, definitely helps. All right. All right, so here goes. I think I'm going, no, I was going to add, let me add. I'm trying to decide if I need more bacon. Well, I'm going to put some bacon over here. Okay, in this little tray here, I put those extra pecans. I've got some parsley that I've chopped up. And let's grab some more bacon and add into that. All right, so I have a nice tray here of parsley, pecans, and bacon. reaching in and getting every last bit. Um, I would wear gloves because I do like to wear gloves when I'm doing this, only mainly because of the jalapenos, um, but I used up my last one. Almost there, y'all. Almost there. Okay, so I'm going to get this into as nice a circle as I possibly can. Minus the fingerprints, <laughs> indentions. Okay, so here I'm just gonna take it and sit it down into this mixture. Now last year, I believe I shaped this in the shape of a Christmas tree and I was gonna do that this year and just put all parsley on the outside and then I was gonna get some pomegranate seeds for the ornaments. And um, poor Bryant, he had gone to the store for me so many times. I was like, I am not gonna ask him to go back for pomegranate seeds. So we're just gonna make a cheese ball this time. All right, let me wash my hands. I'm gonna get saran wrap. We're gonna get this into the refrigerator. I'm trying to get all this extra stuff here. All right, isn't that beautiful? Okay, so we're gonna get this in saran wrap. It'll set up and become firm in the refrigerator. And um, I just serve it with buttery crackers. But let me grab, let me wash my hands and grab the saran wrap. So into the refrigerator we go with this. I'm gonna clean up and then we have one more. I just wanna get some sugar cookie dough put together real quick um, so the boys Sunday can come after church and we can cut out cookies before we have our family festivities on Christmas Eve that night. So um, hang tight. Right now I'm just putting together a basic sugar cookie dough. Um, that's It's just for my boys that we can Sunday after church they can come and do cut out cookies. I don't even know that we'll have a chance to ice them or anything but we're gonna at least cut them out and bake them. Now, you could add some orange zest to this, but I'm not going to. It's just gonna be basic, basic vanilla sugar cookies. So, let me get, I've got two, I've got a pound, not, not, not a pound, a cup of sugar in the bowl. Not a sugar. <laughs> Back up, Leslie. I have two sticks of butter in the mixer, which is a cup of butter. Now I'm going to get the sugar out and I'll meet you back here in just a minute. Okay, so sugar cookie dough is made and now chilling in the refrigerator and I'm not going to worry about cutting out cookies with them until maybe Sunday after church. Our festivities are Sunday night when Jessica gets off work and 
So they'll probably, Caroline and Jamie and Judah and Levi will probably come hang out with me. Or maybe just Judah and Levi. And we will do cutout cookies and bake them. I don't have any icing. I can make my own icing. And I may do that. We'll see. I don't know. But anyway, I'm tired. The last several days are starting to catch up with me. I've cooked and cooked and cooked and cooked. And baked and it's catching up but I've got all the gifts wrapped I thought let me show you <laughs> I could they don't all fit under the tree I have gifts under the tree I have them over there at the wood stove I have them behind me right here I have them at the other little Christmas tree well under the deer on the wall so we have gifts everywhere and because this year I couldn't really think of any nice big gift for anybody. So we just did lots and lots of little gifts for everybody. So they're each, everything is individually wrapped and under the tree. So, all right. Well, we will see you guys in a little bit with whatever I do next. But right now I've got to rest. In fact, I think I might just take a nap. All right, here we are. Judah, myself, and uh, Jamie's dad, Brent, we're out here doing a little squirrel hunting. Uh, to kill a little time just enjoying nature on this beautiful um was it christmas eve 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 so uh anyway uh we've ran across something i just want to show you guys hang on let me get you up there don't know if you can see it but right there see that ball of stuff up there in the top of that tree uh, let's see if i can get a better zoom right there that little cluster that is mistletoe right there in the top of that tree and I'm gonna shoot it out and carry it home and put it over Miss Leslie's head. Let me shoot it out. All right, guys, here we go. Brent's gonna scan up. I'm gonna see if I can shoot some mistletoe out. Here we go, you ready? See what falls. There's some fresh mistletoe. Mm -hmm. I'll carry it home and get Miss Leslie under that. Look at those little white berries. Ain't that cool? All right, let's take it home. All right, everybody. Leslie has no idea. I asked her. I told her we got no squirrels, but she has no idea. I made her close her eyes. She has no idea what I got. Open your eyes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some mistletoe. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Where'd you get mistletoe? I shot it out of the tree for you. Look, it's got the beads. It's got the beads. They are white. Look. <laughs> it's got the berries. Yeah, ain't that cool? That was a trivia question. What color are the berries of mistletoe? They're white. Oh, I love it. Well, guys, we decided to slip out and go get a bite to eat. And we are in a local restaurant here at Sir Pizza. There are several scattered throughout. Um, but, um, this has been here since I was a kid. I loved coming to Sir Pizza. But we are here with Levi, Caroline, Judah, Brent, and Cindy. And, me. and he be. It's Grammy. Oh, it's Grammy. It's, it's, Grammy. That's Grammy it's and Paul Paul. Yeah. That's not Brent and Cindy. That is Paul Paul and Grammy. Right, Levi? I'm glad you corrected me, buddy. Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Couch Time, couch time Jelly Time, Jelly Time, Cheese, cheese time. time, you name it, it's that time. Yep. We did not get to do jelly this morning because we slept in. We've got some important news too. And what is it? Did you guys know the Ever Ready Bunny got arrested today? The Ever Ready Bunny that just keeps going and going, he got arrested? <sighs> yep. For battery. <laughs> Doodle. Womp womp. For battery. Oh, mercy. I know you're laughing. That was a good one. It's jelly time. It's jelly time. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Hey, look. We yeah. overslept this. Well, we didn't oversleep. We intentionally... We didn't sleep good during the night. So, we, when we went start. to sleep, we stayed asleep. <laughs> Plus, we had Judah bugs. So, hey, Judah. we're having to do jelly time now. We had to rush out and get to the farm because Daniel got here about 10 minutes after I got up. So... Hey, it's the 22nd of December. 
does is anybody else like me that this is the time that I start getting kind of sad? Trim the tree. Because I know it's almost it's getting close to being over. I can't see it. Oh, good. you're gonna have to visit the eye doctor. I Somebody see... said the other day that we needed to wear our glasses, and I said, I'm the only one that has them so far. It's the lighting. So far. It's the lighting. Something passion. Orange, mandarin, passion fruit. Hmm. Interesting. Isaac likes passion fruit. I don't smell anything. I don't smell anything. Hmm. She's right. I thought we'd have smelled a... Citri citrus. An orange. An orange. <laughs> <laughs> Citric. Cis... Cis... <laughs> Cis <laughs> citric. Is citric right? Yes. You trying to citrus. say citrus? Citrus. Either one, citrus or citric. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Y'all are so enjoying our jelly and cheese tasting. <laughs> And the cheese has been a hoot. For the most part, we've loved the jelly. There's only been a two or three in here that we didn't like. And they all contained guava. <laughs> this has probably got the most pronounced flavor mm -hmm. of anything we've had. Is it the orange? It's the orange. Yeah. But it's got a very... There must be a lot of zest in that. Powerful flavor. Yep. Not saying it's bad. No, it is very, but I mean. You gotta go lightly. Yeah. yeah. Very distinct flavor. And you got coffee that'll wash it down. Yeah. Well, maybe the problem is you put the whole jar on two I slices of bread. Jar. That may be the problem right there. I did put the whole jar. All right, what day was it? <laughs> That's why it's powerful. The 22nd. Mm -hmm. All right, and the cheese, we're not reading what it is. We're just going for it. Buy and taste it. Here we go. But anyway, y'all have so enjoyed this. A lot of people have asked me where I got this. The jelly came from Amazon, and the cheese came from Sam's Club. Oh, well, here we go. Getting it open. I know we're a hoot when we try, try things, especially. Smell it. I didn't get a smell. It smells like a cheddar. It slices like a cheddar. Mm -hmm. mm. It's a soft cheddar. Whatever. Good. That is really good. Let's see what it is. That's good. I need some more light. Double Gloucester cheese. That's good. Yep. That's really good right there. Yeah. That dog will hunt. Yep. Speaking of hunting, I went squirrel hunting. Y'all saw, y'all saw that on this video, I believe. Did you take some video? Of me shooting the um, mistletoe out. Oh. And then using the mistletoe. Yep. We don't need mistletoe. No, we don't. <laughs> we got Jesus. That's right. Mm -hmm. But guys, it has been a fun day. I've, I've, I guess because we didn't sleep well, I've just kind of been in slow motion all day. And I really only got three things, four things accomplished. I got my gifts. The, the rest of the gifts are wrapped. The two last savory dishes have been made and just are ready well one's a cheese ball the other one's ready to bake and then the fourth thing was i got some sugar cookie dough made and it's in the refrigerator chilling so tomorrow i make the wrapped artichoke hearts with bacon yeah i've turned that over to him tomorrow we'll be baking everything the you sausage go, ball did you make the, your, did you make your million dollar dip today made it yesterday okay is that on there it was on yesterday's Okay. Have you made the artichoke dip yet? That's today's. Okay, it's on there. Yep. Okay, but it's not baked. Not baked. We'll it's bake it ready. To, it was in the refrigerator, so. Um, we'll have to slice the baguettes, toast them. Yep. Some. It was funny. Somebody said, y'all have too many sweets. And I was like, the savory ones are coming now. <laughs> they balance out. We do about half and half. Yep. So, um, I just get the sweets over because that's something then that can last so longer. To, tomorrow night from 5 to 8, the church, the whole church is invited to our house. We'll have about 70 to 80 people come float through. Um, are you going to do your punch? Let's do your punch. I 
I've only got the makings for one. We'll do two. I'll go get some more stuff. I like that punch. He likes it. Yep, tell them what you, how you make it. It's two ingredients. Pineapple juice and Sprite. Boom. Right there you go. Yep. It's the hit of the party. We'll need ice and we need drinks. So ice, he's ice, got, baby. He's got to ding, run ding, 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 ding. run some errands for me tomorrow anyway. Stop. Remember Co collaborate and listen. Listen. You remember how the song goes? I don't. But anyway. All right. That's it for today. It's a wrap. What? I lost my thing. It's okay. Hey, listen. Remember, we need some bail money to get the Energizer Bunny out. So, yep. She's lost her remote. I've lost the remote. Okay, guys, we will see you. She's lost more than her remote. She's lost my marbles. My marbles. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow is a big day, so we got to go to bed and get some rest. So, Thank you for joining us right yes. here on the Farming Pastors Wife. We'll see you. Don't forget to like, share, thumbs up, thumbs up comment, all that good stuff. And we will see you tomorrow right here on the Farm and Pasture. Hey, do you know they want us to go through January with farmers? We can go through January 1st. <laughs> That's what they said. All right, we will see you guys tomorrow. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you, you can, can fry anything. Good night, guys. Bye, y'all.